When Lou Dobbs used to be on CNN, he was an interesting character. He was this independent guy who had a handful of far-right positions, like on immigration, as we all know. But he also had a lot of left-wing positions, like supporting labor unions, for example. Well, since he got his show on Fox Business Network, he shifted way further to the right, and he almost never has a shining moment anymore. Until now. He had Louis Gohmert on his show to talk about the extension of the debt limit, which actually uh, just happened yesterday, and he reamed Gohmert for voting against it. Listen. Here, 199 Republicans That's voted right. against this. How right. in the world do you expect the Republican Party to not find itself in the same strategic blind and bind that it was in uh, last year? when you guys shut down the federal government. There comes well, a time I'd... where there just has to be some pragmatism, go out and win an election, get 400 uh, you know, members, get uh, 100 senators, get a presidency. That's right. Well, uh, Lou, I don't expect us not to be in the same bind, and that's why I was so against what we did here. If there's going to be a debt ceiling increase, we have got to put some things in there that fundamentally make our system better where we don't have to keep doing this. And I argued for that. And, Lou, what it reminded me of it was in 2006 when our former speaker, he was speaker at the time, and our newly elected uh, majority leader, uh, Boehner, told us, you know, we had planned to reform. It's 2006. Yeah. We're going to reform the tax code. All those things we were going to do all the good things we promised, but there's a tiny chance we might lose the majority in, two, in November of 06. In 2006, and so we're not you had a do... Republican president, Congressman. Yes, you sure are not aware you. of the fact that you are a majority in Lou, one listen, branch listen of listen to me. Listen to the comparison, Lou. In 2006, our leaders told us we were going to get through the year and do nothing. And that is what we're doing now. We're limping through what when we can take a do? stand. You are one majority in the House of Representatives, a democratic. You bet led. you we are. You bet you we are, Senate and no bill gets passed come on, come unless the you House know agrees as well to as it. I do that half of the bills you're passing are pure and I think I may be generous in my percentage, are absolutely uh, uh, political theater because you know they will die in the Senate. You know that a, and a Democratic I president am... will kill them. What do you expect to do when you are in the majority in one branch of government? You're, it, it I seems expect to me that us to do what we took an oath to do. I expect us to stand up, and even on this today, I mean, we could have, somebody proposed a full audit of the Fed, we should have at least taken the opportunity to say, what do you look, want to know? you Maybe, just today, Congressman, you just you today, you want to take the apart president. the Federal Reserve at the same time? You are, again, I repeat, you are not in control of the federal government. Watching somebody try to explain something to Louis Gohmert is priceless. Because <laughs> he just has the blank look on his face the whole time, like... It's like talking to a brick wall. We spoke about this a little bit the other day, how there's two kinds of people. Uh, one is, they'll have a conversation with you, they'll listen when you talk, and then they respond accordingly. The other is, they sit there the entire time and wait to talk. So as you talk, nothing's getting in. Impermeable. You know, it's made a fucking Teflon his head. Nothing Lou Dobbs said is landing. There's like, a, you know, a Star Wars or Star Trek deflector field in front of his face. And any words, it's like, meh, didn't get in, does not compute, meh, meh, meh. He's so stupid it hurts. So look, here's the point that Lou Dobbs is making. He's like, eh, bro, look, dude, dude, I'm with you. You don't get, I'm with you. Have you seen my show? I, I suck off the right wing 24-7. But here's the thing, math. Math is the problem, okay? So yeah, you guys have the House of Representatives. The Republicans have the House of Representatives. And by the way, you only have that because you gerrymandered and cheated because in the last election, the Democrats won by 1.8 million votes. But putting that aside, you have the House of Representatives. The Senate is majority Democratic. Whatever bills, whatever garbage nonsense bills you pass through the House die immediately in the Senate. And most of the bills you've passed have been political theater, like he said. And that's totally true. So all the legislation dies in the Senate, and then the even if it did get through the Senate for whatever freak reason, the president would veto your garbage and your nonsense. 
So why are you acting like you're trying to pull rank on the majority party like somehow you have a position of strength? You're not in a position of strength. You're not at all in a position of strength. Now, furthermore, putting aside the math aspect that Louis Gomer just doesn't understand, that it's not possible to get what he wants, the other issue is uh, there's a reason why Mitch McConnell, John Cornyn, John Boehner, and all the Republican leadership caved on the debt ceiling this time and they didn't fight it again. Because the last time when they did fight it, it was an epic disaster for them. Okay, their poll numbers, which they usually don't give a fuck about anyway, but they dropped to a historic, a record low. The Republican Party was the least popular it's ever been in American history when they did the last government shutdown and when they did the fight over the debt ceiling. People don't point that out enough. Congress had a 9% approval rating when they did that. And you want to repeat the same thing and you're acting like you're standing up for the American people somehow? You're not. You're doing the opposite. And by the way, if you don't raise the debt ceiling, you know what happens? Because the debt ceiling is about the, the money we already spent. It's not about, hey, should we spend, continue to spend more? That happens during the budgetary process. But that's about the money we already spent. So if you don't raise it and you breach the debt ceiling, worldwide economic collapse. Unemployment rate in the U.S. shoots up to 18%. We have to prioritize our debt payments, which means people, Social Security gets screwed. Uh, veterans get screwed. Uh, all the, the social safety net programs get screwed. We have to pay China first. The economy just tanks all around us. That's what Louis Gohmert's in favor of, but that's he's an idiot. He doesn't know the consequences of his actions. He, he just thinks, debt bad, so I'm going to vote against it. <laughs> and even Lou Dobbs is running circles around him. And even more importantly, the donors... The last time that these guys uh, did this, the Republicans did this, Wall Street went, eh, 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 eh. Uh, Did you know that uh, in the month after the government shutdown led by the Republicans that the Democrats outraised the Republicans, not just overall, but even uh, from Wall Street and the big money donors? Because even, they don't like that. They didn't like, that hurts their bottom line too when there's a government shutdown. So they're like, you know what? You guys are fucking lunatics, all right? So now we're going to go over here to the Democrats. So Louis Gohmert represents that part, that wing of the party that's so out of it that they don't even know how to be beholden to their donors, which is all the Republican Party does all the time anyway. <laughs> God. Louis Gohmert, man, he really is too stupid to be in Congress.